In this film we will create a little planet that looks like a piece of jewelry. We will use this picture and we will make use of a filter called polar coordinates. This filter bends an image in a way that a square becomes a circle or the other way round. But before using this filter we have to establish certain things. One is that we have to make sure that the edges on the left and the right side are identical. So for this we just go the easy way and flip the left side of the image over to the right side. So with the rectangular marquee tool I select the left image size just like so, so that we don't have this blue dot here. And now we copy this part to a new layer by choosing Command and J and choose Edit Free Transform and flip this part over to the right side. And the easiest way for this is you drag this little dot to the side of this Free Transform tool and right click and choose Flip Horizontal. That's it. Now you can do a double click to commit the free transform and that's all. But you see part of this layer are outside of the canvas. So we have to make it visible because the edges should be identical. So we choose image and reveal all. So now that everything is revealed we can merge down by going to layer, flatten image. And I want to get rid of this dark spot in the center of the image. So let's crop this image by using the crop tool and cropping just like so. Now it's essential that the image is perfectly quadratic before applying the filter polar coordinates. Then we will get a perfect circle and no egg-shaped objects in the result. So let's change the image size where we have to uncheck a little box in order that we can have the same height and the same width for the image. So go to image, image size and make sure you have constraint proportions unchecked. And let's say we use a width of 3000 pixels and the height should be the same. And now I hit OK. And that's our perfectly quadratic image now. One last thing before we apply the filter polar coordinates is that we should rotate the image so that the part that should become the middle of the planet, which is this part, is up. So we just rotate the image by going to image, image rotation 180 degrees. So that's it. Only one more step ahead. We go to filter, distort, polar coordinates. And here you already see the result. It's important to choose rectangular to polar. And that's all. Now I hit OK. And I have this little piece of jewelry here. So let's crop a little bit by choosing the whole canvas, then holding down Shift and Alt so we can crop into the middle. That's it. And I want the buildings to be up, so I rotate back the image 180 degrees. And that's our little jewelry planet here. You see how easy it is to achieve this result. You just have to remember to do three things before applying polar coordinates. First, be sure that the edges have a seamless transition, so they should be identical. Use a quadratic image and rotate the image so that the part that should become the middle of the planet is up. So that's all and have fun playing with this technique.